does one vote for a candidate who belongs, say, to a faith other than the Christian faith? Everyone has to vote according to their conscience and what God is prompting them to do because it's a very privileged role that we are given in this nation. My view of the philosophy of history and politics is this. When you're choosing between leaders, none of whom will give you the groundswell of the Christian faith on which their life is built, which may not guarantee that they may be the best leader either, you know, but if that's not there, you have to go for a person who will help a nation provide the best moral soil on which the freedom to believe and disbelieve can actually function. It is on a moral soil that the freedom to believe actually works best and truth can ultimately triumph. If you have an immoral soil created, then the truth is evicted and you're not even given to the opportunity of voicing your ideas in the marketplace and in the public setting and in the arena. The Christian faith ought to have a voice in the marketplace. It ought to have a voice in the academy. It ought to have a voice in politics. It ought to have a voice in business. And any leader that will create the moral soil to make it possible for us to continue to pro proclaim that, that's the kind of leader we may have to ultimately work, no matter what tag they put on them on the outside, if you're choosing between those for whom the Christ is not supreme in salvation, you have to choose one who will give you the best moral soil in order to allow you to live for Christ and live out your faith. That's the implication of the answer that I have given to you. Okay. <laughs>